moon scissors and nano's lens be sure to share this potion with your friends and let's add a custom potion including a recipe to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. <laughs> all right, we find ourselves back in Intelligent once more and in this tutorial we're going to add a custom potion including a recipe to our Minecraft mod. Listen, I said the the level of absolutely unhingedness of the ink course is going to increase until we reach a level like the door standing that is not mounted as in it is unhinged anyway let's add a, a potion over here it is more straightforward than you might think because a potion is actually like it's, it's actually just straightforward and the recipe also similarly very straightforward so in our tutorial mode package, we're going to right click new package called potion. And then inside of there, we'll make a new Java class called the mod potions class. Now, this one needs a deferred register, of course, and that's going to be a public static final deferred register of type potion. And we're going to do the, call this potions equal to deferred register dot create built in registries dot potion with tutorial mode mod ID, of course, and then a public static void register method with an i event bus full event bus and we're going to call the register method over here as per usual as always all of the code is available down below to for you to take a look at in the github repository we're then going to call the register method here for the mod potions class inside of the tutorial mod constructor and then we get to register the potion which you'll see is absolutely amazingly simple public static final this is going to be a holder of potion and that's going to be the slimy underscore potion equal to the potions that register over here with the name slimy underscore potion the second parameter is of course going to be a supplier of a new potion passing in a new mob effect instance mod effects dot slimy effect and then the duration let's just say 1200 something like that and the amplifier is going to be a zero and with this literally with this the the thing that we've done right now we would have three potions inside of our Minecraft mod, the normal slimy potion, the po slash potion, as well as the lingering potion. All three will automatically get added to the potions tab in the creative mode menu via creating the new potion here, basically. And for this, we will actually need a translation because those three different potions, well, they have a translation. And that looks kind of like this. You can actually see that it is item.minecraft, very interestingly, because of course, because it is basically generated automatically via this new potion over here, the three items, they basically get put under the Minecraft namespace. This is not hugely concerning. Now, there might be an issue if someone else would add a potion in another mod and your mod also adds the slimy underscore potion. So one way to possibly mitigate this is to call this your mod ID underscore whatever the potion is, because the name over here basically is never going to be seen by a player anyway. And even if it doesn't matter, right? Like that doesn't really matter. Now that would be one thing, but usually it should be fine. But then the big question is, how do we register a recipe for this? Well, very straightforwardly in our events class over here, the mod events for the game bus, very importantly, we would need to make a new method a public static void that's going to be the on brewing recipe register method with the register brewing recipes event called event over here of course as always with events add the add subscribe event annotation extremely important that we add this and of course also make it a public a static and a void method and we need the register brewing recipes event over here as a parameter when we have this inside we can say potion brewing dot builder and we're going to call this builder equal to the event dot get builder. And then we can use this to literally add our mix. So we can say builder dot add mix potions dot awkward. And we're going to say items slime ball and then mod potions dot slimy potion. And that's literally it. So in the bottom of the brewing stand, we're going to add orc potions. At the top, we can add a slime ball. And that is now going to get us slimy potions. Literally all we need to do, as always, all of the code is available down below. But let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, friends, I'm back in Minecraft. And as you can see, I've got some awkward potions here with everything set up. And if I put in some slime balls, you can see it is starting to brew. However, it takes a long time. But luckily, we have editing on our side to speed this up quite significantly. And then what we can see is we get some slimy freaking potions right here. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, they all work 
well, exactly how you would expect them to work, right? Like, literally, you can just get the slimy effect right here. And yes, I could, in theory, like I said, add them to, you know, different uh, animals and stuff. But, however, they will not actually, like, know how to use it because they're, um, they're, uh... AI is not, like, basically laid out for that, right? So if I were to get this uh, sheep in here... Well, or maybe it is laid out for it. I've actually never seen that work before. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it the effect, and I'm gonna hit it, and obviously it's gonna run into the wall, or it's gonna try to run into the wall. Okay, so basically it ha actually has to run into the wall, but that is unlikely to happen. So it's it's not really gonna be a thing, but, uh, yeah, it's not going to, like, figure out how that it can actually, like, go that way. Regardless, though, that is a custom potion and a custom potion recipe added to Minecraft. Awesome. As always, all of the code is available down below. But that's me for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll play Picasso by adding custom paintings. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.